Hello, my name is Joe Richter. I'm a real estate broker and an associate broker with Keller Williams Realty. I'm licensed in California and Oregon. I prepare monthly reports that look at the market trends in 14 communities from Newport to Woodbridge through Irvine and Tribuco Canyon. These reports can be accessed on our website at joe-richter.com under a navigation link named Market Trends Monthly Update. Each report takes a focused look at a specific community or neighborhood. The goals are to establish and monitor home values, to define the market type as either a seller or buyer, and to set reasonable expectation for days on market. You will see we put a lot of data into our proprietary statistical models to prepare and present this report. You can also access the public-facing information off the MLS at joe-richter.com under the navigation link, Predefined Community Listings. This report focuses on Newport Beach, the Harbor View, East Bluff area, single-family homes price between $1 million and $6 million. It covers the period January 1 through June 30th, 2020. The monthly headline is, New listings jumped dramatically in May and maintain that position in June. Contracts written tie for the highest June of the prior five years. The good news is there were 29 new listings in May, plenty of willing sellers. June almost repeated that success and tied for the top June in the prior five years. With 21 contracts written, June was also a good spot, tied for the top of the prior five years. Summary, June was an exceptional month for reopening the market. The Newport Beach, Harborview area is currently a buyer's market with 4.4 months of inventory. Inventory levels are running 30% below 2019 for the same period as seen in the green column. Actual inventory at the end of June was 53 homes on the market as seen in the blue line. This is just below the bottom of the normal range of the prior five years. Chapman University defines buyer's market in Southern California as being 3.5 months or more of inventory. Monitoring the active listings provides insight into trends that may be developing that impact home values and inventory levels. There are currently 53 active listings. There were 54 in our last report. There were 61 new listings over the past 90 days. 38 of those homes are still on the market. There were 27 new listings in June. In the next few slides, we will be discussing the three essential steps in selling and buying. They are new listings reflect a willing seller, contracts written reflect a willing buyer, and closings is the execution of the technical and legal aspects of a purchase contract by the buyer with lender cooperation. Compared to 2019, new listings are down 22%. Contracts written are down 16%, and closings are down 12%. This is all represents pretty normal market activity, frankly. New listings are down 22% on a year-over-year -year basis. What is important to note is that the new listings in May totaled 29 was a very strong recovery and that the 27 new listings in June supported the May results. And June tied with June of 2016 as the best June of the prior five years. Contracts written are running 16% below the same period in 2019. The 21 contracts written in June tied June of 2019 as the best June of the prior five years. Close sales are down 12% compared to the same period in 2019. With a large number of contracts written in June, we should see a strong uptick in closings 
over the next couple of months. I expect to see July and August looking very good. Home values are understandably the most important subject sellers want to discuss during our listing presentation. The Newport Beach homes in the East Bluff Harbor View area are down 8.1 percent compared to 2019. Prices have trended low throughout the year and worsened over the past two months by the buyer's market condition. The Newport Beach Harbor View East Bluff area is the only buyer's market of the 14 markets we prepare these reports for. List price for the active listings is two million nine hundred seventy nine thousand dollars. The price range is from one million twenty five thousand to five million five hundred thousand. Recent closings are perhaps the most important subject we can monitor. Recent closings are used as the primary metric to determine pricing in appraisals and CMAs. Depending upon the amount of information available, a look-back period of 90 to 180 days is typically used in an appraisal to uh, make sure there's enough information obtained to make the appropriate estimate. We always use a 90-day look-back period because our markets are robust with plenty of transactions and the shorter period reduces the distortion seasonality has on the data. Over the past 90 days, 23 homes have closed, 17 closed below revised asking price, 5 homes closed at revised asking price, and 1 home closed above revised asking price. The days on market for all active listings is 70 days. It was 94 days in our last report at the end of April. Days on market is the time from activating a listing on the MLS to getting an offer accepted and a purchase contract signed. As listing brokers, we always advise in a normal market, the DOM should be between 30 and 45 days and suggest pricing accordingly. To be clear, the drop in DOM is directly attributable to a surge of new listings in May and June, homes that are still on the market and not an increase in a sales pace. The current month supply of inventory is 4.4 months, making this Newport Beach market segment a buyer's market. This is the second consecutive month at this level. Months of inventory is the primary factor used to define a market type as either a seller or buyer's market. Chapman University defines a buyer's market here in Southern California as being 3.5 months or more of inventory. To aid in forecasting, we monitor three measures of inventory. The first is the change of inventory levels over the past 90 days. This gives us a sense of a surge of new listings or contracts written. 90-day inventory rose by 35%. Comparing the year-over-year -year inventory levels helps us measure how steady or normal a market is. Year-over-year -year inventory is down 30 percent. And using a month-by-month -month comparison lets us check for abnormalities in the seasonal trends. June 2020 compared to June 2019 is down 23 percent. This map shows the listings used in this report. You can access this information on our website at joe-richter.com under the navigation link predefined community listings. And this is an image that shows the thumbnails that are the companion to the map. They provide summary information of each listing. Click on any one of the thumbnails to see the full detail including photographs, pricing, and other special issues. And this table shows the current active listings. Note we do prepare standard deviation tables that look for outlier calculations for 
days on market and revised list price. This table shows the closings so far this year. Notice here we are also looking for outliers for days on market, cumulative days on market, list price and close price. Any outliers are highlighted in red. And this is the last bit of detail. This chart shows the home values the range of the pricing of the closings. The red dot represents the close price, the actual price that was recorded on the closing, and the gray dot represents the original list price of the same transaction. Notice the gray dots are for the most part above the red dots, indicating a price reduction either during the listing to make the listing more attractive, appealing to buyers, or during contract negotiations. However, it is not unusual to find several gray dots below the red dots, which shows a price increase. Buyers and economic conditions set the market value. In closing, we would like to say thank you for listening. We have tried to make this a high-level explanation of how the market is evolving. The view from 40,000 feet, so to speak. If you have questions, or would like to discuss the market in more detail, we are here to help. If you have questions about forbearance or prices or DOM, anything at all, please contact me. The team I work with would love to be of service. Again, thank you very much.